This year, uh, I think early in the game, that was very evident. We had trouble rushing the ball early on, but uh, uh, as is the case, I think, in any game, as you're able to throw the ball around a little bit uh, and have some, some success doing so, I think that opened up our run game a little bit. And uh, <clears throat> nothing was uh, uh, more pleasing than the, uh, than the uh, drive at the end of the game right there to put things away. So uh, Jeremy Langford continues to, to rush the ball very well for us, but obviously it's a full team effort. So uh, we just, uh, you know, uh, we started off a little bit slow, a little bit sluggish, but uh, uh, we got things done at the end. That's the bottom line. What was the difference on the drive late in the first half of the touchdown today? It's like late in the first half. Uh, uh, I mean, that was throwing the football, basically. You know, uh, again, we were we were struggling. We were trying to establish a run game early on. Uh, did not have a lot of success. They were uh, they were uh, moving a lot inside with their with their defensive linemen, and we were having trouble uh, staying on guys in there. And. Uh, you know, that last drive was, was basically a, a pass drive, if I remember correctly, and then Connor and the, the receivers, everybody had a part in that, along with the, the protection. That was really what took us down there. Dave, that, that play that went from 62 to the Pendleton, is, is that just all I've looked Yep, 100%. Can you talk a little bit about Connor and maybe not being as sharp as he wanted to early in the game, but kind of sticking in there and standing there and staying emotionally tough and getting it done later? Yeah, Connor, Connor's been resilient this year. And, uh, you know, like any quarterback going through his first uh, uh, year as a starter, he's had his ups and downs, but he's had a heck of a lot more ups than he's had downs. And, uh, uh, you know, regardless of how he started out, he finished strong. Uh, you know, no quarterback's going to be perfect, but he certainly – uh, took us down. I mean, we scored a handful of points, you know, so uh, he was a big part of that. So we're happy that uh, that he's playing the way he is right now. And uh, the neat thing is, uh, you know, again, he's got, what, eight starts under, well, not even that, how many starts he got under his belt. So he's going to keep getting better. What was the conversation after the pick? Did you try to no, not much or anything. I mean, he's just trying to make a play, you know, uh, things happen. And uh, we have to understand that. And uh, I guess the great thing is our defense is playing such lights out that, you uh, uh, you know, one a big deal. It was a big deal at the time, obviously, but uh, uh, they they held the ground. When that happens, do you try to get a sense of the players rattled after a play like that? Uh, yeah, but I'm up in the box, so it's more guy, more feedback I get from some guys down the sideline. But uh, Connor has been uh, again resilient. He's he's been calm through those situations, and uh, my hats off to him because uh, certainly this day was uh, probably a, a more pressure packed than any day he's been through. Um, and he handled it uh, extremely well. Dave. After 3-0, you were pretty frustrated. How rewarding is it to see this offense come together? Well, it's, it's, it's very rewarding. And, uh, I mean, it's, it's just guys making plays is what it is. Um, this guy's coming of age and uh, sort of us settling in on, the, on guys with positions. And, you know, receivers are coming around. So it, it's very rewarding. But it's, it's more so than that, it's, I'm happy for, for our offense. And uh, defense has a big part to do with it, too. I mean, they're, they're helping us out and putting us in good field position. Uh, but uh, I'm happy for guys in offense. Dave, Dave, you mentioned the lights out defense. Coach D obviously plays that defense. Is, is a play caller, do you dial it down a little bit, knowing what kind of defense you've got and make sure you've got field position? At certain points in the game, maybe. Uh, at the end of the game, uh, that becomes a factor. Uh, at the beginning of the game, uh, not so much. Um, you know. Probably, probably don't see it, but you can actually be a little bit more aggressive, uh, knowing that those guys can, can stop people if you, if you make a mistake. Dave, how important Benny and Tony Lippett, not only the last couple of weeks, but how big have they been for you? Well, you, you've seen those guys come come on and, and play very, very well the last couple of weeks, and it coincides with us playing well offensively. Along, you know, when those guys uh, get a feel for each other, the quarterbacks and the receivers, and have confidence in each other, that makes a big, big difference. Uh, you know, we've hit some uh, fade routes recently the last couple of weeks. We've, we've hit some crease routes, some things that we weren't hitting earlier in the year. Uh, and that's a big confidence factor, I think, with, between quarterbacks and receivers. Last one for Coach Warner. Anything else?